Okay, so uh, Sean. Hello. So my movie um, this week is De Lovely. That's why birds do it. God, she's ravishing. Which one's Cole Porter? Did I sweep you off your feet? Because I really had an intention to do that. You wrote that song about Linda. Songs don't have to be about someone, you know. Remember, it's your story, too. It's a love story. That's why I'm frightened. In Spain, the best upper sets. I've never had the urge to be completely honest with anyone until you. You knew so much about me when we met, Cole. Don't you think I'd heard a thing or two about you? You and me. That's what was meant to be. I hope he doesn't misbehave. There's something wild about you, child, that's so confused. You know that I have other interests. Cole has a heedless appetite for life. He needs to be protected. Your music comes from your talent, not from your behavior. It's all the same thing. It's all me. Let's misbehave. What a marvelous song. I don't know it, do you? Intimately. When they begin. You want me to leave at the top of my game? Nothing comes easy anymore. When it does, it's lousy. I have spoiled you, but so has the entire world. Just don't put us in jeopardy. I can't promise you that. To the pop of champagne. MGM Pictures proudly presents the story of a man who gave the world something to sing about. The song's about obsession. It's about being in love. It's dreamy. It's the rousy. Kevin Klein, Ashley Judd, in an Irwin Winkler film. It performances by Cheryl Crow, Natalie Cole, Robbie Williams, Elvis Costello, Diana Krall, and Alanis Morissette. It's the eagle. It's the royal. It's the rich. It's the lovely. And it is, it was from 2004, and it's based on the life of Cole Porter, a musician, singer, songwriter, uh, and his life. And it starred Kevin Klein as Cole Porter, adore him, Ashley Judd as his wife, Linda, adore her, and Jonathan Price as Gabriel. Um, it actually, it actually starts with his death and he's kind of remembering his life. Um, you know, taking one last look yeah. before Gabriel is playing, you know, Gabriel takes him away, you know? Um, I just loved this movie. Um, I don't think Cole Porter in, in general gets enough credit for his music and for what he's brought. Uh, because, you know, I, I that's just me. No, I agree. Um, I, I was like, I, ta- I, spoke- I was like, he wrote that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I spoke to somebody about the movie uh, years ago, and um, a very gay man. A very uh, he writes his own. He writes musicals. He writes his singer songwriter plays the piano. He's absolutely uh, a gorgeous man in music. Um, and he was like, because no one cares about Cole Porter. And I was like, you no one cares about Cole-. like I thought. I He's just a musical thought it, genius. Yeah, I thought it was just his music, just his music. I, right. I love it, you know. Bees do it, please do it. Have been educated? Oh, please, whatever. Okay, so anyway. Um, he wrote that. <laughs> you wrote that, yeah. yeah. Let's do that um, through the whole movie. Uh, yeah, so I just Ain't thought it was... Yeah. So long one. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was beautiful. I thought the... Um, his relationship with Linda, the his wife, who play, is played by Ashley Judd, um, just extraordinary, you know, for the time. And and, and a lot of, I mean, uh, Clark Gable, gay, but went on dates with women, 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 women. Oh, you're thinking of Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson, I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, mm, well, I don't yeah, know. I think Clark Gable, right. I think you the one I'm thinking right. is Clark Gable. Because, David. because I met a woman, she, was, she worked in the same office as my mom, who dated him. But he was like totally, yeah. yeah so, no, no, yes, no. David, uh, but definitely Devin, Rock maybe Hudson. Maybe David was, Devin. He was 
supposedly goes both ways. I think but, Cary Grant also may have. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Cary Grant. Mm. Interesting. But but, so, but that mm-hmm. I have no. Yeah. In those days, yeah, you know, public, gay, publicity would not let you be gay. Even so nowadays, yeah, that's people true. are still being hooked up by studios well, yeah. and managers. Well, because like, you should date this, or you should go out with this one. Be only, seen with this person. Be seen with this person. Only nobody has to get away with it. <laughs> because <laughs> leading crazy. men at that time, <laughs> uh-huh. nobody yeah. is going to go. Yeah. First of all, it, in Cole Porter's time, it was illegal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. Uh, dangerous. And second of all, nobody's going to go see your plays. Nobody's going to go mm-hmm. s- uh, see Cary Grant, if if that is true, right? Nobody is going to go see a Cary Grant movie or where Rock he's the leading Hudson man. Yeah, yeah, it exactly. would kill your audience. It would kill yeah. your audience. So right. I, I totally get it, you know? And like I said, in Cole Porter's time, it was illegal. It was illegal. Yes. And yeah, so their relationship, her knowing about him, or, you know, she knew, <clears throat> yes. and she was done, you know, uh, you don't realize till later that she had a shitty marriage previous to that. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And she was basically, she was setting herself up for herself, but she did really love him. He really loved her in the best ways that they could. Um, I just thought the story was beautiful. I mean, there's a ton of other characters that come in and out, you know, um, in their lives. And I just think it was a, a beautiful piece of um Artistry. Artistry. Yeah, thank you. That's something I was looking for. Artistry. What did you think about the performances by the artists? I thought that was amazing. Fucking fantastic. Yeah. I I thought I I just I, I loved the entire thing. I, I absolutely loved the entire thing. Yeah. They should have been like I, I thought it was Oscar worthy. Wow. I thought performances were Oscar worthy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Her her death her I mean, there's no shock here if I say she died. <laughs> I cry every time. Cause it's just, it just kills me. It's just like, oh, cause she's still planning for his future. Like, you're right. She's setting him up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah she's she's set, so she set okay. him up. Oh yeah. It just got me. I just loved it. I just loved it. Oh. I, George. Yeah. I love the movie too. I, I watched it. If I initially watched it late at night and I was kind of sleepy and tired. I go, I don't know if I like this movie, but then the <laughs> next morning I was enough sort of refreshed and I watched it again. I was like, I actually really love this movie. It, I, I also, one thing I realized the next morning when I, when, when I watched it was that this actually, the movie is actually a musical made into a movie. At first, I was having a hard time, like, why are they busting into song? <laughs> <laughs> but, but then, it's just like this thing. Yeah. But then there's a scene where where uh, he's... It's the second song the, the, in the movie. Yeah, the movie where they, um, I think it might be uh, France, yeah, they're walking, and you see the Eiffel Tower in the background. Plays the and piano. he plays, plays the piano, and then uh, he, he co porter <clears throat> tells Gabriel, which is uh, the, the, the British actor. Price, uh, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Price. Price. He goes, you know, it's a little too early for a song. And that was when we was like, boom. Oh, this, no, that, that he's, he's being honest to play. It's a play, but it's being presented as a movie. And so once I adjusted my mind, then, then I just loved it. I thought it was great. A couple of things. The relationship reminded me of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Fred, you know, Freddie Mercury and, and uh, uh, what's her name? Mary Aston. Yeah. Where he's a gay man, but he loves his wife. I mean, he really adores his wife. Same thing. So, this is kind of that relationship. The modern, yeah, that, the yeah, modern, so, version yeah, modern version. Yeah, version, yeah, so the modern version of that. And and also, you know, actually, Jared is twenty years younger than Kevin Klein, and uh, Cole Porter's wife is actually eight years older than Cole Porter. Oh wow! Which is kind of well, interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, interesting. One thing I really, I, was, I had no idea that guy was a, that much of a genius. You know, so I kind of looked up, I researched them, and he's like, well, one thing with Kevin Klein, you know, Kevin Klein has won uh, three Tonys. Oh, one, yeah, one, yeah, he's he won as 1978 on the for on the 12th century, 1981 for the Pirates of the Penn Saint, and two, 2017 for Press and Laughter. And he plays all the piano parts, he also plays piano, so he can actually sing. So he had to tone down his singing to because Cole Porter is not a great Cole singer, wasn't a so he singer. said he had to tone down his singing to sound more more normal because I, I guess he's a great singer. And actually, like John wanted the role so badly, she took a pay cut for it. Because at that time she was, you know, the, the the soup of the day kind of thing. So yeah. she was, you know, every role was a lot of money. So right. they were scared that, oh, she's if she actually just does it, we cannot afford her. And she said, I'll take a pick out. I want to do this role. So she and she did. The uh, <coughs> co what was it? Uh, oh, the thing about Cole Porter, you know, we know his his grandfather was the richest man in Indiana, so he really comes from a rich family. Yeah. His mother, uh, she's she really wanted to. 
push his musical side as opposed to his grandfather wanted him to be a lawyer or something. Right, right. She get, she he took uh, violin lessons at six years old and piano lessons at eight years old. I mean, this guy he's a uh, he he was a uh, he enrolled at Yale, and uh, st- you know he's, he majored in English, minored in music, and studied French, and he also contributed to the Campus Humor magazine. He wrote a football fight song for Yale that's still used to this day. Wow. It's called uh, Bingo. That's the lingo. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, so that's, guy, he's genius. That's I, great. I and have after no he, idea. That's and after he, wrote, after he went to jail, he went to Harvard Law after that. And then he's, you know, law wasn't happening for him, so he switched to the uh, music department at Harvard. And he started counterpoint with Pietro Yo, Jan, Pietro Jan, who's the former organ player at the Vatican. And at the royal church in Rome. I mean, this guy is, uh, he just studied music. Like, he's a genius. He's like yeah. Mozart. But yeah. people don't realize. He, to me, he's Mozart. Anyway, so, yeah, yeah I love the movie. I love the, the numbers. You know, uh, Alanis Morris says, Sheryl Crow, Dana Crow. Oh, yeah. I oh. just love the numbers. Yeah, all the little actors. In the... fact, I was watching it. Yeah. And then uh, I was, you know, I was working out. I was watching it the next morning. Then uh, when, when Cheryl Crow and Diana Crow did the numbers, because one was a uh, begin the begin which is kind of like a Brazilian jazz piece. And then I crawled that's uh, just one of those things and kind of gypsy jazz. I stopped working out, I got my guitar, I was playing along. This, <laughs> this is too fun. It's like, oh, this is great. So yeah, I, I love the movie. Oh, and what's, out, what, what's his name that... Uh, Elvis Costello did. Thank you, uh, Elvis Costello misbehave. did misbehave. Yeah, uh, 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 so fam- fabulous. Not recalled it every time we say goodbye. It's just had everybody. But and normally when I see famous people like that, it throws me off. But it was perfect in this film, like yeah. you said. Yeah, it, it, they, it they were in the time. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, 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 and. Uh, Morset, uh, Alanis Alana Morset. Mm-hmm. Yes, when I I didn't I was because I already watched it the night before. Mm-hmm. He was watching it, and so I stopped and watched it again. But what made me stop was her voice. I'm like, because I was like, wow, I love that girl's voice. Who is that? <laughs> right? Because you don't think of her as that style, right? right? right. And so I was like, oh my god, she can sing. I was yeah. like, and then I stopped. And watched it for the second time. Wow! You know, yeah, they integrated them everybody it was perfect, yeah. really nicely. Yeah, like I had her no in idea. The chorus line yes. and him walking by and like, and mm-hmm. then he pulls her forward. Like, yeah, they integrated. Yes, everybody nicely. Is yeah, that- and, and the relationship oh. worked because to him, he, you know, he brought her uh, social, more social status because she's a uh, what is it? She was a, a Louisville, Kentucky socialite. They yeah. would say he brought her more social status, and he she for him was more like a. a brought a hetero- heterosexual front roots a grounding yeah. but yeah. grounding but also yeah she really helped them yeah he, i doubt that he would have done as much without her help but he Absolutely, she also yeah. helped him with that whole you know like i said of, of putting up a hetero- heterosexual front because of yeah. that time well also that. she was a business person oh yeah you can see that in mm-hmm. the movie. She was a business person. Is that, are you yeah, good? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Patty? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Patty? Patty? <laughs> you know, maybe I'll watch it again. <laughs> but, you know, I love Cole Porter, love Kevin Klein, love, what's her name? Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. And I love the singers doing his songs. I just did not like the movie. It was just so flat that's the only way it didn't grab me at any point and maybe it's me but i like movies to grab me (laughs) (laughs) liar (laughs) you are a liar (laughs) liar (laughs) tis not me made (laughs) right (laughs) but uh, the first 10 minutes i couldn't stay awake i mean i had to wake up (laughs) Watch it again, which was not easy. You're like, I had to watch after, Force. Yeah, after watching the other one, which like, I hate. No, you're going, I had to watch Force Majeure to wake yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, Force Majeure said, God, since and George were there, I never would have stayed awake or thrown stones at the TV. But then I watched He Loved It, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. This can't be happening. And, Mother Mary. You know, I love it. It didn't have any depth. That's what I thought. I like movies to have depth. And some sort of, that's what I want. It just was so flat. That's the only word I can say. I and okay. I loved. I would have loved to have loved this movie because I love musicals, all the others. But this movie didn't grab me. I like movies. Were you aware me. that it was a musical? That was a movie. Yeah, well, once I became aware that it, babe. Well, it was I a musical. So. It had music in it. 
And I usually yeah. don't like musicals that come in every 10 seconds with a song that where they don't have 10 to. Seconds. No, it didn't. What I'm saying is that's why I can't believe it's I didn't like it. Life. But <laughs> yeah, no, be a clown. Be okay, a clown. here they go. Oh, um, yeah, right, right, no, see, I, okay. okay, about the depth. I mean, no, no depth. <laughs> but the whole thing is, I gotta, I gotta process the it? hamster. The hamster wheel's going. The hamster in my head is going. When you say it's flat, yes, that's kind of how they had to live their life. Because of, it's a front. It's a front, and any gay man would have made it way better than that. No, because no, I, no, no gay man lives a flat life. Okay, he I, didn't though. He, he didn't. didn't. No, I know he didn't. But what I'm saying is, the movie to me was flat the way it was presented. Even though I really did like how it first came into it, where he's watching his own life, I thought that was very clever. And then it was just flatline. See, I. I I and actually that is my opinion. No, I actually know what you mean about the depth, but I really feel it was a different time. People acted differently. Like that was a time when people would call themselves Mr. Sonso and Mrs. Dickens. How do you like that? Oh, I don't know. How do you like that, Mr. Dickens? Right? You know what I mean? They call, they're much more formal. I get that. <clears throat> no, but here's the thing. I I do understand that because I had a. Hard time with that the first time around. But remember, I'm looking at a different era. But I wrote, I should have hated this movie. It has everything I hate. It, it, it Everybody breaks out in song all the time. <laughs> it's a romance. Well, it's a romance, but it's kind of an unusual romance, which kind of... I usually makes it more, I, I, it more, more yeah. it makes it more interesting for yeah, me, right. you know. But just romantic stories is like, oh my god. Um, uh, but actually, I love the movie. I just love this movie. Uh, I watched it twice. Watched it the night before he fell asleep, and I was I, I stayed up and I watched the movie. Yeah, that was the first time. Yeah. But then he watched it again. Yeah. I watched well, it again. So then, yeah, the and I, I, tequila. I, <laughs> you know, because because. <laughs> okay, and and I agree with you about the Bohemian. I yeah, really feel that, that they the, that he loved her. Yeah, they loved each other. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you know, there's sure. many marriages. I did not get that he did not love her. No, hold on, I'm I'm not accusing you of that. I'm saying there's many many marriages in that time when the people loved each other, but it was not necessarily a sexual relationship like when the mouth. husband slept in one room and they right. you know what I mean? it was that, a different kind of love you know yeah. he snores or whatever it is you know well, that, there's that, i love you and i lust you yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> it, it, it's different and, and i really felt that they loved each other just mm -hmm. like bohemian rhapsody yeah. i felt like he really loved his wife but his first wife his yeah. wife linda yeah because no i meant that i meant that in bohemian yeah, linda. Raps, mm -hmm. yeah linda, that linda. Loves, i think so yeah. his oh, name's mary linda mary also. oh mary austin yeah it's uh, yeah mary oh mary linda, linda right, is right. called linda yeah, is called. yeah. <laughs> I, I felt like he loved her i thought kevin klein was unbelievable in his portrayal of him because i it, it, it was like it was very subtle. Because remember, this in is a guy from a fish moments, called Wanda. The part you go, <laughs> but like when you go behind the scenes, when yeah. you go a little behind mm -hmm. the scenes, in other words, when he's upset mm -hmm. or when he's whatever, it's so subtle. It's like the mask falls for one half a second and you feel his uh, motion. And I felt like Kevin Klein played it that way. He was so subtle, I think that he might have been overlooked at the Oscars because <laughs> yeah. his performance he was, so subtle. was so real. Yeah, it was so real that there that it was, I thought excellent. And and you know I am not an Ashley Judd fan, but I have to say this is the second movie you've thrust on me to watch Ashley Judd. And, and, <laughs> There'll and, be more. And I was like, I was like, damn, she is really a good. very good actress. She really I, is. I, I'm so mm -hmm. sorry that she. I feel like she's never gotten a part Her that. Dude. Like that would just she could get her, you know, Closet. just go the with. Oscar, What's the, the movie girl. where she plays a crazy mother? Wawa, the Wawa Club. The sister. No. Oh, Sister of the Yaya. S oh, watch that Sisterhood one. Sisterhood Yaya. She, oh, shit. I read she, that book by the way. Yeah. She <laughs> really gets into the nutty. 
Oh, uh, maybe I'll make that my next one. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna say I, I am her craving. And, I'm craving for nutty? her to get a really no yeah. <laughs> meaty roll. Me, me too. You, meaty that's roll a, because that's I, it. I that's feel it. her potential. Yeah. And if you saw a picture of the the the, the wife's name was Linda Lee. Mm. If you saw the picture of Linda Lee when they first met in France, right? She looks a lot like Ashley Judd. Oh but, wow! Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, as an older woman, mm -hmm. of course she doesn't. But when she she looks a lot like her, and I was like, wow, they cast that pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah. I just again, I, I just have to point out that I, I just thought they were for two actors to play real life people. I thought they did it beautifully. I thought that you know their their uh, connection was brilliant and to portray these people who had this life that in real life that those people had to be just amazing just to just to accept each other as who and what they were and they and they lived their lives together they but did. apart and, you know but i think that's you know, very typical of like I was saying, you cannot look at one generation and put your values, values on that yeah. generation yeah. because until I, you know what the restrictions of that generation it's were. A, it was a much more formal kind yeah. of society, and it really allowed that more. Do you know what I mean? Than yeah. than it does now. And I, like I said, I really felt like they, they. They were attracted to each other, but not in, it, it was a, I admired each other. It was like, he, he, he found her very attractive. Like the way that some gay men find women attractive. She was it, his muse. He, I exactly it, said that to George. I, it's I, more of a visual. I, I yeah. said that to George. I go, she's his muse. Yeah. And that's, that's, she, that he needed her because she believed in him. You know what I mean? Who the she, hell doesn't need that? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> she believed in him, and that made him believe in himself. And so when she wasn't there, he began to to not believe. He get right. nervous again, right? right? You know what I mean? But so she, that I, I just think that it's like relationships are very complicated, yep. and they're not always about how hot the person is to you sexually. Not when you get into a relationship. That's the first no. twenty. That's the first twenty five hours. Yes, I totally agree. So what do you score it? I give it a 10. I give it a 10. Yeah, I give it a 10. <laughs> Patty? <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Oh, you got, I give it a beep. It's a six. <laughs> I'll bleep it. I give right. it a beep. But I will watch it again <laughs> if I can stay away. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dub it. I give it a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Do your beep, beep. <laughs> we'll be back. Break. Okay. Yeah, break. <laughs> <laughs>